All right, a brief lesson on how to set up a Tinkercad account. So go to tinkercad.com and join now. I won't show you how to do that. You should be able to handle that without a problem. When you get signed in, it'll look something like this. And it drops you into 3D designs, which is what Tinkercad CAD originally people thought of. You hit circuits, and then you hit create new circuit. And you are basically you're right back in class and it's actually a lot easier a lot nicer so i'm a big fan um it gives you these weird names glorious biggery so you know go up there and fix it this would be 1.1.2 um uh, intro to breadboarding i don't know if that's what it's called but go with that for now so we need a breadboard so let's try this bread board hey look it gives me a breadboard and i'll just bring a breadboard out Cool. I need a power supply. And it gives me a lot of these things. I'm going with this one. I'm going to show you something. I click on it and I click out here. Bang, I got it. And I want to exit out of that and I want to move my breadboard down. Good. And I want to bring this over and call power supply, voltage 5, current 5. That's fine. I feel like that's wrong. No, that's right. All right, so let us put some wire on there. Let's go with red. And hook up our power. So you can change it up here. You can right-click on it. I happen to remember that red is 2, I believe. 2 turns it red. Okay. And I need a black one. And that's uh, black, which is like five or something. Five, four, three, six, seven, one, one. <laughs> Funny. All right, so we're returning that. All right, um, I need a resistor. So I'll go up here. Gives me a standard resistor. I'm going to place it in here. Now it's got a turn. So I'm going to try some arrows. Arrows move it. Um, R rotates it, I think. Hey, there we go. Got lucky. Doesn't matter which way the uh, resistor goes in. Notice it automatically snaps to the holes, which is kind of nice. So let's power it up. We need something from power to come into this row. And I want it red. Now we need an LED. And click here. And I actually purposely put it elsewhere because it's got to go this way to get the... Uh, power properly so power comes out of here lights up this whole row so we yank it out of this row we light up this whole column this column goes through the resistor now we've lit up this whole column and then it goes into the bendy part of the led it matters all right and it goes there um i have to return it so we'll bring it back to the ground and we'll make that black we're good except that i never really said what my resistor is so we click on the resistor and we say, I want, and I don't remember, you're going to have to look this up, 470 ohms. I think it was 370, but we'll go with that. So we change that. And now you're like, well, how do I get the darn lights to turn on? You start your simulation. And the light's on. If I, it tells you how many amps are going here too. If I turn that off, lights off, turn it on, lights on. Okay, so that's simulation. You're going to use Tinkercad a lot, so start to get good at it as soon as possible. It's going to help you out a great deal. And it's got AND gates and integrated circuits and pretty much everything we could ever want. It's really slick. Always remember to stop simulation. Always remember to name it. That's it. Good luck.